she allowed to like meet up with her friends and have like coffee? Absolutely not. This is by far the most uncomfortable interaction between two human beings I've heard in a while. So basically, this girl went on a date with a guy she matched with on a dating app, and as the date progressed, the conversation turned into what kind of relationship they're both looking for. And as we're about to hear, his ideal relationship is so absurd and detached from reality that she felt compelled to start recording. Now, I did remove some background noise from the video since it was pretty loud, so if you're wondering why you could only hear their voices, that's the reason. There wasn't any voice recordings edited in or anything like that. So, like, how how do you, how do you expect to have, like, a wife and kids, but yet you don't want to, like, really provide, yet you don't want her to work? Well, I just think that she should find her own way to make her money. Like, for example, the government steals everybody's taxes. Like, find a way to take your money back from the government. And if you can't do that, then you deserve to live in the streets, honestly. Yeah, if you're not stealing money back from the government, you deserve to live in the streets. That is some logic there. I'm not really sure what he even means by that, because you'd need to be making money from a job to even get taxed in the first place. But then in his ideal fantasy relationship, she wouldn't be working at all, so what money would there be to take back? Does he want his fantasy partner to just be on unemployment and get government handouts? Is that it? I don't think this guy knows how taxes work. There's about a 99% chance even he has no idea what he's talking about here, probably just regurgitating some nonsense he heard from a podcast. You could just hear the brain rot pouring out of his mouth. It's hard to listen to. You deserve to live in the streets. So, you want a wife and kids, and you want to be the provider. You want her to be home and be a homemaker. Exactly. But you're not going to... You're not gonna give her spending money? Like, if she needs to go, go get groceries? I'm gonna just give her the basics. If she, if she can live off the basics, she's fine. Otherwise, you're just asking is, for too much. The what basics is, is pampers, food, and clothes. That's about it. Pamper, food, and clothes. Yes. Is, are you gonna, is she allowed to, like, meet up with her friends and have like a cough absolutely not so you're not allowed to spend any money whatsoever you're not allowed to meet up with friends you're not allowed to work but hold up now you still need to be bringing in some money and providing something you fucking gold digger what do you think this is the absolute delusion is strong here and you could just tell this guy's been watching way too much <laughs> fresh and fit his brain has been completely molded at this point by manosphere slop content online that's probably where he got the idea of wanting a traditional relationship and being a provider yet from the sound of it doesn't want to actually provide any Thing. Except for food and pampers, of course. Basically just looking for a housewife slave who's somehow supposed to make money herself. The delusion of wanting a, a homemaker yet not being able to be a provider is insane. It seems to be a common trend recently with the amount of brain rot slop podcasts out there now. Have, like, the Absolutely not. So She's at home focusing on our family and that's about it. She, she has no reason to go anywhere else. And you think that's okay? Like you? Yeah, that's that's the way it should be. That's the way it is. So basically, you want her to be a slave, just to be at home, cook, clean Something for you. Something like think of it like that. That that that's that's modern day slavery. Basically. Some people think of it like that, but you know what? It is what it is. Okay, so if you don't want to pay for those things, it's that mean we're splitting the bill? Like we're going to split the bill today? Yes. 
might as well just keep her shackled in the house with chains at that point. You know, I just can't wrap my head around why this guy might be single and trying to find someone on dating apps. He sounds like such a catch. I'm shocked he hasn't found any takers to be his completely isolated housewife who's not allowed to have any autonomy, any friends, any freedom basically in life aside from taking care of kids in the house. And don't forget, she's got to be making some money contributing her share as well. He's not looking for a fucking gold digger. She should find her own way to make her money like... The red pill gurus and podcast brain rot has officially taken over this man's brain. Like, there isn't any original thought happening up there, it seems like. This is almost scary. And by the way, I'm not trying to bash traditional type relationships by any means. If that's what you have, or what you prefer, and both people are happy and on board, then that's great. But it's important to mention that the relationship can't just be traditional on one side. And that's the thing, it sounds like a lot of these manosphere brainwashed zombies expect the traditional wife without actually being traditional themselves. That means being a provider, and you know, not expecting your partner to also be making money on top of being the homemaker. You're supposed to provide for everything financially, for the family, the house, vacations, and even just spending money in general for your partner, like trips to the hair salon and whatnot. This dude just straight up wants a slave. Now, she did end up posting a follow-up video with a little more context to the story, so let's take a look. So, I'm just gonna use this top comment to answer your guys' questions. So, a lot of you guys wanted to know how I know this guy, or like, why I even went out on a date with him. So, I actually matched with this guy on Hinge, and we have been talking for about like a week and a half, probably like two weeks before we actually met up in person. And throughout the time that we were talking, he was very, very nice. He was very normal. He gave me absolutely no red flags, so I literally didn't see this coming. So we decided to go on a date and I met him there and he was very nice, okay? So the date was going really, really good. Like we were having a conversation, it wasn't awkward, he was nice, you know, the vibes were kind of flowing, whatever. And we had ordered dinner, we ordered dessert and we had already finished with our food, but we were just sitting at the table still just talking to each other. So then he asks me, what exactly are you looking for? Like, am I looking for something more casual or, you know, to take things more seriously? I'm not trying to waste my time. Like, yeah, if I meet someone I could get serious with, that's what I prefer and he said he was looking for something more serious that he was ready to you know I guess like settle down with someone not get married yet obviously but that he eventually did want to get married and have kids so I was like also oh, like you want kids and he's like yeah I want kids but not anytime soon but when I do have kids I don't want my wife to work so I was like okay so like you kind of want to be a provider and her being like a stay-at-home mom type deal and he was like yeah like I'm gonna provide but not like all the things like just the basics and I was like what do you mean the basics and he basically just said that he was just going to provide like the important stuff and then that's when i started recording so he's like yeah like she still you know has to make her own money and i'm still so confused and that's when he started talking about the government and getting your money back from the government which i'm still so confused about that i don't know what the fuck he meant the only thing i could come up with that thinking back now is a tax return like you, you know her getting her money from a tax return but in order to do that she needs to work so i don't know he's just started naming these things like you know just like pampers and food and just you know listing those things i'm just thinking about like what what about like if she wants to go get her hair done or something i mean i didn't ask about like the whole hair thing but i was just thinking about like those little details and he's like oh like absolutely not like she shouldn't be doing that and i'm just i'm just thinking like so you want to have like a slave <laughs> let me figure out my way out so then i asked him about the bill because i'm already thinking if you're not going to give your future wife spending money because you're only gonna provide the basics like what about dinner like i started thinking like what about right now and that's when he said that he was gonna split the bill as soon as i cut off that video i literally left i went straight to the car and i blocked his fucking ass okay so you guys wanted like a picture of him or you know you wanted me to blast him but i don't have any screenshots i never screenshotted his his profile we only talked on hinge so as soon as i blocked him that was it like i i couldn't go back his name was anthony he's from corona he was 25 years old and he was cuban um yeah that's just a description i feel like that is just so broad I, I don't know people were saying like oh why didn't you just walk off like i said like the date was basically done like we had already finished dinner we finished like dessert oh my god i almost forgot i did pay for my own meal um i paid for whatever i ordered and then i fucking skedaddled um i don't know if he stood back at the table if he was behind me when i was like walking away i don't know i can't tell you because i didn't look back i just i just tried to get the fuck out of there yeah, definitely a bullet dodged for her at the end of the day. Let this video be a lesson that you need to be careful with some of the stuff you consume online. You know, question things. 
Don't be so impressionable. Form opinions by yourself. Because we're definitely in an age right now of peak brain rot. We're just spending a little too much time on social media. It is enough to completely cook your brain and turn you into a, a zombie incapable of any sort of individual thought. I mean, this guy's clearly been listening to way too much Fresh and Fit or some other garbage and has turned into a complete lunatic. Don't be this guy. Touch some grass. But anyways, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more juicy videos coming soon to the channel. And let me know if you've ever had any similar uncomfortable dates like this. I feel like this might be getting more and more common now with the amount of garbage brain rot content online. But let me know. Leave a comment. Peace.